Hi guys, it is January 2021 and I've decided for the first time in two to three years I'm going to try and make a vlog. So what has changed for my life in 2021? And it's been quite the journey. I quit my day job, which I think I mentioned in one of my vlogs a few years ago, started my own company. That then basically ended up being another day job, so I put that in the cupboard for now and I've just started a job working in the public cloud for a Finnish European company called Theatre Every, which I'm really excited about. What hasn't changed is that I'm living in Helsinki still, still a massive fan of this city, particularly with all that's gone on with Brexit, I'm never leaving, oh, I love it here. Other changes is that I married the woman of my dreams, who's incredible, and decided that I love creating so much, it's time to find that creativity and desire to want to create and give it a lot more energy than I have been doing. Also, what hasn't changed is that holding a camera in 2021 in a vlog style, uh, it still feels so awkward. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy, this is now the third take of what I'm trying to say and I can't stop smiling because it's been fairly, fairly funny. <laughs> what we are discussing about is how many takes it can, how many times it can, how many retakes you can do when you're just trying to say simple words when shooting in this way, uh, particularly if you haven't put too much prep into any kind of script and you want it to be fairly reactive to what's going on rather than a kind of scripted event-based video. Back to what I was trying to say. I'm lucky enough today to be shooting with Yusi Alexander, who is one of the growing YouTubers here in Finland. He's located in Helsinki. Highly recommend you check out his content. Yusi himself is like a super nice guy, um, so I'm super privileged to be able to shoot with him today. He's actually now prepping a BTS cam. Uh, watching Yusi on his creative process is kind of inspiring as well as educational, so I highly recommend you check out his content. So one of the important factors of when you're creating content is of course to review your footage to make sure you've got the shot that you want and that's what Yusi and I are doing right now. So what we had is I was standing in the middle, Yusi was going around to get the kind of effect that he wanted to capture and we also have, or Yusi has a BTS camera that's filming him, filming that while I'm filming me. So it's like camera inception right now. <laughs> Shooting in January 2021 here in Helsinki, Northern Europe, it has um, a lot of advantages. For example, you don't need to have an ND filter, but it also has some kind of not so positive aspects. The first being how cold your hands can get, which is something which you see behind me is currently battling with. So when you're uh, out shooting, you want to be able to use the touch screen on your devices, whether it's your phone or your camera. And of course, this means that usually you're not going to use gloves to help do that. Uh, you're just going to use your hands and it does get cold so I'm currently putting my hands in my pockets, warming them up, putting the camera down, picking it back up once they're warm and starting over. And that my friends is how you do a smartphone gimbal dolly shot. Like simple dolly in and out, it's like the most basic shot you can do. <laughs> Are we going to Audi? So we have decided to extend our horizons a little bit and choose a location slightly outside from the direct city centre. So moving away from Alexandrinkato, Gluvikato, uh, Espa towards Terla, which means we're going to go to Audi, the new very fancy library. I've taken a few photos on my Instagram of that place uh, during the summer. But we're hoping if we go there, there's going to be enough room so we can get the other shots that you see needs. that I'd lost you for a second. <laughs> so we have made our way to Odi, which is the new and rather fancy uh, library in Helsinki. It's actually right opposite the government building. And today, so we did have epic snowfall. Uh, really, we had a lot of snow. And then last night it rained, or yesterday and last night it rained nonstop. It went up to about three degrees. I mentioned that a bit earlier. This means that the snow now is mostly sort of this mushy, wet, horrible stuff. 
um, and they're actually clearing the snow off the building so you can see that huge snow pile there and there's these guys on the roof that are just throwing the snow from the roof onto the ground the plan now is that UC is going to do some more shots so we've actually only got two of the eight which means we have six more left to capture um, but it's looking pretty good we're hoping that in this location with fewer people around we're going to be able to really get through the last remaining shots one of the things that UC and I were sort of joking about when we quickly went to stop for coffee was that in 2021 is it possible to have a vlog without some cinematic b-roll So we have decided now that we're actually going to go into San Matalo because it is getting bitterly cold and we're simply not moving enough to keep our hands warm which are going to go from uh, normal skin color to a slightly pink color to a blue color if we continue <laughs> trying to try to do this outside in the wind it's far more exposed uh, at this location than it was in the central location so we think moving inside it makes a far more sense So we're not even sure that we're actually allowed to film in here, but we're doing it because it is so cold. Sanama Talo is the headquarters of Sanama, which is one of the leading, or is the leading, um, kind of newspaper public, or owns a lot of the newspapers like Helsinki Sanama, I think Ilta Sanama, and a range of others. Um, and their head office is in this building. Additionally, my accountant for my own company, Dalanon, is also in this building, so I have been here a few times. And it's beautiful. It has these massive, great big glass kind of windows everywhere. Um, in addition to these rather impressive uh, escalators, which are open, so when you're in them, they're glass and you can see out as you go up. You see right now is just getting the equipment ready so I think we can both be transparent about the fact that the learning curve of trying to grab a smartphone gimbal and use it um, within minutes of purchasing it for the first time is not necessarily the easiest learning curve uh, which we've sort of experienced that with a few of the shots today we both come from a background of using kind of different gimbals but using camera gimbals and I guess smartphone gimbals a little bit removed from that perhaps not quite uh, in line as you would expect but we're getting there we are getting there how are you feeling confused it's not working the way I <laughs> imagined it would So we got the shot that we needed for the kind of follow shot and now we're just wondering where to get a slider shot. Are you ready? Alright, one, two, Man, this was three. So basic shot. So we have just finished the last shot that we're going to do with UC today, which was a drone follow shot. Now I need to get back home. UC, bro. I'm gonna bounce. James. Thanks, bro. See ya. Here we go. 